Hi, my name is Michael Toth, Manager of Enterprise Customer Success with JotForm. Today, we'll take a look at a JotForm government server and some of the features it provides. Let's go ahead and jump in. When a user first logs in to a JotForm government server, you'll notice that they first have to acknowledge before proceeding with this regulatory agreement for JotForm government. We'll go ahead and acknowledge that. <clears throat> we'll know we're in a government server because we'll see our government emblem here next to what would be your branded uh, server emblem. If we take a look at a form on a government server, you'll notice similar to a HIPAA server, we have the option to mark a field as PHI. So if you do have protected health information that you're collecting as part of your forms, you can go ahead and turn this on for any fields that are needed. It's on a field by field basis. So if some of that data is not protected or doesn't need to be protected, you can just go ahead and toggle that off. The primary differences between a PHI field and a non-PHI field are that the PHI fields won't be able to be included in the body of an email. So if you're using our notification or autoresponder email, uh, that data will be protected and uh, omitted from the email. Any data that isn't marked as PHI can go ahead and be included. You could still send that data through to integrations. Uh, you could also still use that data in PDFs that you could create. Uh, they just need to be password protected. On a government server, you still have access to integrations. It's going to be our HIPAA compliant integrations. So that way you know the data is secure, it's encrypted while it's in transit, and it's encrypted when it lands with that third-party provider, whether that be something like a Google Sheet or a CRM like Salesforce. If you're creating a workflow in a government server, you'll want to note that in order to be an approver in the workflow, you do need to be one of the licensed users. The approval information and the uh, submission information is protected behind a login, so you'll just want to make sure that your users are logging in before making any type of approvals or taking action on tasks. All right, that concludes our demo. For more information about JotForm Enterprise or to contact our sales team, feel free to visit jotform.com backslash enterprise. If you're currently using our enterprise platform, please keep in mind that you can contact your dedicated support team with any questions you may have. Thanks for watching.